Hi everyone, welcome to the channel of HFE. Today I'll take you back to the country which I visit the most frequently for football since starting this channel, it is Sweden. We visited Malmö against Helsingborg, the Skåne derby a few days ago. If you haven't seen that episode yet, click the link below, you'll enjoy it. However, our flight from the Budapest airport today is going to take us somewhere else. It's going to take us to the capital of Sweden, to Stockholm, and the team we are going to visit is Almena Idrottsklubben, commonly referred to as AIK, a team of excellent supporter culture and great history, 12 times domestic champions. We've actually seen AIK twice already, twice away, in 2021 in Boros. Is that still? 3-2. The away side leads. And this year earlier in Gothenburg. Great chance now for Aiko, inside the box. The team they are facing today come from Hellevik, it's Mjelby AEF. We've also seen Mjelby once in Boros. 100% chance for Mjelby 1-0. So we already have some away experiences of both teams. It's gonna say the same in Mjabu's case, but we're going to experience Aiko at home, finally. Aiko on the second place of the table with 24 points, but they have a game more than league leaders Hecken and Mjabu on the ninth place with 16 points. The ground we are visiting today is Friends Arena, home of the Swedish national football team as well, opened in 2012 after the legendary former national stadium Rosunda was demolished which hosted the 1958 World Cup final as well so it's Friends Arena and it has a capacity of 54,000 people. Let's go to the airport. We're just leaving the mall of Scandinavia. As you see in the background, it's the biggest mall of Scandinavia indeed. And Friends Arena is just next to it here with all the fan shop and stuff. So it's pretty convenient for fans because they can park down in the mall. So uh, it's really great. And it is actually a bit of in the ground, the arena. So it looks a bit smaller from outside. So we're at the fan shop, which we will visit now as well. Here we have the statue of the founders of Aiko. <laughs> so friends, the arena is named after. It's actually not a sponsor. It's a organization to prevent bullying. So, so it's not a classic sponsor name, but a name of uh, for the good case. I don't find that really frequently. Yeah considering stadium names today. It's really great to have here. This here is the entrance of Norasto, where the ultras of Aiko enter. What do you like the most about Aiko? I like the fans, the passion they have for football, and that they are very connected with each other during matches. What's the score prediction for today? I would say 2-0. What do you think about Malmö losing yesterday to Sinsval? I mean, it happens, you know, it was a surprise, obviously, but it happens. I call lost points against a small team last week, so you can't predict the scores very much. It's, 
it's very competitive. Such a unique feeling, a bit of like a theater where you see curtains in a stadium. It's so quiet for now. So let's explore the arena a bit. Third year up there close, what my Aiko friend told me is that they only open it if they sell out the first two 10 days before match day. So the two will be open today and around 22,000 supporters perhaps in the good case today in the stadium because everybody's on holiday obviously or most of the fans. It's really cool retractable roof as well, such a modern stadium, it's no wonder it's home to the Swedish national team as well.
people did the attack now. The cross can come in from the left side. Great skills inside the box. Rebound with Larson and Miabe eventually get it away. They were just chanting that one of their former goalkeepers name. He died in a heart attack and his number was 27, so in the 27th minute everyone chants his name in the stadium amongst the Aiko fans. Aiko offensive, end of the 34th minute. Otieno with the cross. Keep his ball eventually. Quite boring first half so far. Yeah, they're on the attack now when they're inside the box. And they get the lead in the 40th minute. They don't have so many fans. They're over there in the corner. They get the lead after defending the whole match. Once they come away in the counter and now they lead. Oh, you call a much stronger side. Look at the disappointment here. And at Nora store. Unbelievable. Look at this defense. Eight people behind the ball, they can't do anything with it. Great shielding there. El Buseri, he crosses, but that's inaccurate. Three additional minutes. The first half is over in this moment. Quite surprising, but Miab is in the lead, nail one. Pretty sleepy support in this first half because the team didn't give the crowd anything to cheer about, pretty much. So it was a defensive game from the Miab's side, and Oiko just couldn't find a way through. Yeah, they did after a counter towards the end. So pretty poor display, hoping for better in the second half. Oh, you can start the second half. Get the shot on! Back pass, cross now, headed away by Miyabe. 
The crowd is mad with their team. They're doing very, very poor today. Not really impressed. Look at this. Three players on the ground. And yeah, they are a proper time wasting team. I mean, look at this. They're leading the matches 100% according to their plan now. Six minutes of additional time deserved as well, at least this many because there was so much time wasting going on from Yabu. Barely any noise from the Ultras area, so many disappointed people. Equalizer. No, not today. What I thought after the first half is that we are going to see a totally motivated Oiko in the second half. Nowhere near that, to be honest. They were sloppy, they didn't have any motivation, which is pretty disappointing with a, with a team, with a proper fan base like Oiko. So I'm neutral for a, for a match like this and for most of the matches in Auschwitzkan, but it's always better to see the, the team with the proper fan base winning uh, when it's, it's this case that the other team is from a, from a small town and uh, and don't really have a, that big fun culture. Credit to Miyabu, but their methods of, of winning and uh, time wasting weren't too... Uh, well, it weren't a thing which I would appreciate, but but they won eventually. And they won the second second time I visited them, so they won both matches because they also won in Boros. Uh, I vlogged that match as well. Main thing that it's not our last game in Stockholm because tomorrow we will visit the Stockholm's derby. You're going against Hammarby. So join me for that one as well. As soon as I'm gonna say goodbye, I was HFV and I hope that you could still enjoy my content a bit today. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye.